So hello, this is um, 2nd of uh, January. Today will be, uh, I think, quite an easy class because we had a break of two weeks. Um, a bit of shoulders, I think, yeah. And um, Irish, hello, I can see you. You join and uh, yeah, let's start. So I'm, uh, um, yeah. We need for today's class uh, a stick. A chair, by the way, but any chair will do good. I will keep my aside. Um, and again, if you don't have chair nearby, don't worry. It's uh, it's not that crucial. It's just very nice to start with uh, with one thing we have planned. So, <clears throat> uh, legs crossed. Allow your outer knees uh, to descend, allow your outer hips uh, to descend. You can do this uh, rotation of your flesh of the buttock to the side to uh, feel more uh, widening uh, the space between the uh, sitting bones. And you feel more gravitated, so there is no flesh between your sitting bone and the support. But don't allow the buttock to come to your waistline, allow the buttock to descend and then take your hands uh, by the hips and align your shoulders on top of your hips. Align your head on top of your shoulders. Look forward, don't look close the screen, don't look down. And just a little bit of your eyes to see as well from the side, that you don't want to fall forward in your low back. You don't want to uh, drop your navel on your thighs. You don't want your knees to go higher than your uh, hips. And when you keep your hands by your hips, start feeling your collarbones widening, your outer shoulders rolling back, your trapezius muscles descending down, but what is more interesting is to move your armpits, the back of the armpit, forward. Try to do it. In uh, I don't know even this is an English word, but some yoga teachers use the word coil. So you move the back of the armpit to the front. So you see how it uh, right away changes the way your ribcage is. It feels broader. But don't really squeeze too much of your shoulder blades, just uh, actually keep them wide. So don't overwork, don't push your uh, spine forward. Yeah, but pull the armpits. Feel how this action really opens the chest. That's good to your breath, that's good to your feeling. You, you feel a bit uplifted. It's a, it's a, it's a nice uh, thing to have. If there is no movement at all, just keep pressing the fingers into the floor and roll the shoulders at least back. So you can start from there, but if you can, try to feel here. And then in a moment, we'll take the hands in front of the chest. Again, check your head, don't push it forward. Keep your shoulders on top of your hips. Bring the hands in front of the chest, namaskar, and close your eyes. Ascend your body from the bottom. Feel yourself tall, soften your face, soften your eyes. Allow the breath to go deeper, going slightly high to the top chest, but keep the breath smooth. So don't make uh, extra long inhalation, extra extra aggressive exhalation, you know, just everything is smooth. The more you can control your breath, the more you control your emotional stability in a way. And then exhale, bow your head, take your chin to the chest. And then release your hands uh, down on the upper legs. Inhale, raise your head and open your eyes. 
So this is the moment where I would like you to use the chair. If you, again, don't have one, it's not a big deal. You can use um, uh, just the block behind you. It's just <clears throat> a very nice way to open the armpits. If you, uh, you will sit again back to cross legs and you will bring your hands behind you inside the chair. So uh, if uh, you don't have chair, it's too big, it's too far, you will be just doing that, crossing fingers at the back of your body, yeah? But this is a little bit better because the hands are wider and uh, your back is less narrow. So you see my fingers pointing down. Good morning, Nicola. Good morning, Yelena. Happy New Year to you. So, um, by the way, check when you're a little bit closer to you. Not, not too close, sorry. So you see my fingers even touching uh, the edge of the chair. And I press uh, the thumbs into the legs here uh, slightly. And I lift my chest, yeah? Should feel also good. If you by any chance, like if you have problem with elbow, you can try to flex it a little bit. If it's not bearable, like really pinching your elbow, then just do crossing fingers at the back, yeah? Just sit here, keep uplifting, uh, keep lifting your chest and keep holding this armpit forward. Keep releasing your trapezius down. And also see the neck here wants to go forward and you have to bring your seven vertebra. It's the one that uh, round and out. It's called seventh vertebra because the more the, the neck is above it, but the seventh is pointing out. Bring it in, and then the head will go slightly more back. Then, guys, we will twist. So you release your right arm on the chair. You see, my forearm goes on the chair, and my left arm holds the knee. Yeah. So then we turn. So it's exactly the same pose, but we have something to press harder. So in here, it will be forearm pressing down here, the hand will press down. Inhale up, exhale turn. If you don't have chairs, you just turn normally. Yeah, you just turn without this extra. Here, because uh, you have pressure of your forearm, you can even further, uh, walk further back with this forearm. So try to bring your shoulders really in line and if you turn right like me, try to make your left chest going quicker than the right forward. So yeah, it's definitely behind and you want it to go quicker. Keep resisting your right buttock forward and turn your needle. And then guys, uh, let's try. Yeah, it's a little bit maybe not easy action. Sometimes in the twist, you can do a back bend. So start looking a little bit higher up and to the right and see how your dorsal spine, the area below the seven vertebrae comes more in, looking up. Breathe and turn. And come back. So it's a little bit tricky because the breath is harder and then it's not really nice uh, in yoga way, yeah? we, we want the breath to happen normally. Again, take your hands back. So that's why control the breath. Yeah, the breath should be nice and normal. Yeah, again, arms at the back, holding the chair, lifting your chest and releasing your doors, uh, releasing your trapezius. The same pose, the same cross, by the way. As I promised at the beginning, it will be a difficult class. It will be quite a nice, no. <laughs> We'll see. I, I find this twist, for example, quite intense, yes, but nothing uh, of no jumps, uh, no hard uh, push ups and core stuff, yeah. Just allow your trapezius to descend, coil the armpits forward, keep opening up your armpits, yeah. And then again, seventh vertebra, try to make your neck extra tall. And then we turn to the left. Guys, I'm turning away from you, so I hope you manage. If you have questions, just look at the screen or unmute yourself. Right hand holds the left knee, left forearm going down, trying to bring your shoulders really parallel to the wall we're looking at. 
and then breathe, inhale, exhale, gently. So the right side of your ribs going away from the spine. Left collarbones become wider and wider. Right chest to become, uh, want to become quicker than the left chest. Allow breath to happen. See how it is already a challenge, maybe for some of you to breathe here, but in a moment when we look up, the diaphragm gets extra, you know, push forward. So you have to be careful. You have to be attentive. So let's do that. Start on inhalation, looking higher up. Exhale, turn. So it's a light back bend with, with a twist. Yes, yeah? so your dorsal spine comes more and more in. Please control your breath. Don't become blue. And exhale, release. Yeah, quite simple, right? Only the chair, but everything feels more alive now. We change the course of the shins. So the same twist, the same twist, uh, but uh, different course of the legs. So it will be double. Just for a moment, see how uh, all these twists Change uh, the uh, change the depth of your breath. I've done a little bit before the class, so I even feel it extra. But see how the whole chest is moving after we do those things. Yeah. Again, sorry, I forgot. Hands back. Let's open the armpits. Fingers pressing to the chair. Uh, side legs lifting. Don't push your head forward. Head above. The shoulders looking forward, breathe. First, we're just sitting, facing forward. In a moment, we'll turn right and then left, yeah? Descend your outer knee, outer hips, navel slightly back, feel this up, tail and forward. Okay, and now we're ready to go to the right. So release your left arm, catch your left knee. Right arm can go further back, further back. So you see, I want my shoulders to become really in line. And we breathe in turn. See how these diaphragm again can go more forward and low back becomes more pushing forward. Don't allow it to happen. Navel slides uh, in and back. But uh, forward. And when you're ready, and if it doesn't give you headache or dizziness, I don't know, maybe it can be, like if the breath is not, if the air is not enough, you maybe feel not good, so don't do it then. We start doing colon cave in the upper back. So you slightly reach your head higher up, neck, dorsal spine, not seventh vertebra, dorsal spine, in, and you look above your right shoulder, high up to the ceiling. And please breathe. Arms are remaining quite active. Please watch your breath. And exhale, come back to the center. Again, arm inside the chair, one opening of the shoulders, of the armpits. Press the fingers into the chair, extend them down, coil the armpits forward. This action from the back of the armpit to the front of the armpit. But shoulders are not up to the ears, shoulders down, trapezius long. And then we go left. So right hand holds the left knee, left arm down on the chair. And we breathe in return. Left butter going more forward. Remember that navel is not allowed to fall on your uh, left uh, thigh and see that you're not leaning back. Yes, yeah? so your left chest is above your left hip and not further back. Breathe higher, exhale, turn. Move your right ribs away from the right uh, spine, left chest further back. And then we do our concave. So start looking carefully up. Neck should feel quite free. So it's not a lot of, yeah, it's really light extension. And we turn. And we keep looking up. Okay. 
exhale gently release to the middle just for a moment again be peaceful and watch your breath just see how normally it's stuck a little bit here along around diaphragm but now something is further yeah the, mu uh, the muscles get uh, more freedom in the back so uh, <clears throat> Now the chair can go away. Now the chair can go away. And guys, you keep sitting legs crossed. So I hope it also doesn't bother you too much. So if it is uh, not a pleasant pose, maybe a chair can be used. And um, yeah, now we need a stick. So guys, if a uh, stick wasn't available, you can just... Um, uh probably a belt yeah just take a belt so look we again sit legs cross choose the first option yeah the first leg you always prefer to put and then the stick will go here uh honestly if you have quickly a belt i can mm, recommend to put it over your right leg I know I'm not mirroring you, sorry guys. I just decided not to confuse myself uh, because we will turn in a moment and it would be nice to grab something. But if you don't have belt, don't worry, you can hold the left leg. So first thing is try to bring your stick uh, the back of your body. Look, ideally if your hands can touch the stick, but I uh, probably uh, can say, that it's not available for everyone, then you're just doing this. So you see your hands are just hanging. But the upper arms, please press into your stick. Yeah, Nicola, very nice. Liam, can you do that? Uh, with the hands holding the stick? Ah, too short stick, okay, fine. But try to feel something, Yen, yeah? Your stick is relatively small, but maybe it's a bit hard to feel, but press the upper arms into your stick to feel the stick action forward. Be careful the low back, navel resist back, otherwise you end up having a low back pain, yeah? And now guys, ta -da -da -da. <laughs> let's try to twist to the right, keeping the stick where it is. So look, you slightly lean forward and you can hold, for example, the left leg first, and then you look right. But yeah, definitely left ribs a little bit unhappy, just, uh, talk to them, tell them it's just not forever, but they have to kind of accept the stick, yeah, so don't become harder there, become softer there. If it's not enough, you want to hold this belt, you want to hold this belt and turn even further to the right. I don't know guys, if you're adventurous enough, take a look, maybe you can try to catch the right knee, you see? My knee a bit lifted, but oh, oh, tiny breathe. <laughs> yeah, so left ribs is really uh, not accepting the stick, but with the time being, it will go, go more in. Exhale, ribs. Okay, guys, I would like you to uh, do it again. Here I see you have question. Yeah, just guys, if it's not doable, you are holding this, uh, the closer knee, the closer thigh, yeah? So if you like the, uh, the belt, place it quickly on the opposite thigh so you can pull, yeah? Let's try again, I will look a little bit more at you, yeah? So again, sit upright. By the way, you can do it at your Zoom meetings, sit like this, instead of uh, looking too far to the screen. And then we turn left. So it, the hands now shouldn't be here, by the way, you see, Nicola, if you keep your hands like this, it will be harder. So you release your fingers to hold with your palm the knee. First start with the easy one, yeah? Aha, yeah, go further. Grip the inner knee even, yeah. You will slightly lean forward. Uh-huh, uh, Daphne, go with your hand to the knee. R right hand to the knee. No? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, no, but look, if your hands keep holding, that won't be doable. Yeah, you need to release and you hold. Like Julia, I'm looking at you. Uh huh, but now if you can go further, try to grip the opposite knee. Yeah, oh, nice. Had more back, uh, Irish. Uh huh, had more back. Yeah, Nick, well done. Yeah. And then this back rib, the right one has to become softer. Exhale, release. Just for a moment, re remove the stick. And again, see how you breathe. Yeah. It's slightly different. Change the cross of your shins. We're gonna repeat. And guys, it feels like you're a little bit struggling. Yeah. Please don't feel bad because I would say when I first time tried those stick twists, I couldn't imagine that it can go that deep. So it just, you know, I hope maybe we'll repeat a few times coming weeks and then your body will not resist as much, yeah? So then you go here, then you start holding the belt and go smoother. One more time, this stick at the back. So different cross of your shins. Release your trapezius shoulder blades down, look forward. So for now you can do like me, fingers holding the edge of the sticks. But in a moment you need to remove them. So probably uh, Daphne, you can remove them then. The stick will become less hard on your ribs when the fingers are not holding it. Mm -hmm. So then you see I'm removing my palms from the stick. Exhale, hold with your left hand, your left knee. Inhale up, exhale, turn. And then again, as I said, it can be a belt here on the right leg or the knee. And then yes, it's a little bit difficult, but again, because it's the second time, it maybe goes easier for you. If it's going smooth and ease, start also looking a little bit up. Bring your seventh vertebra deeper in, dorsal spine deeper in. And exhale, come back. Ooh, good guys, and the last twist. Start with easy knee, right hand holds the uh, right hand holds the right knee. Invite your right ribs in, and then maybe you can do this. And then we add this dorsal spine action. So start looking up, not too long. And a little bit of inward movement. And exhale, come back. Ooh, well done, guys. Now that's it. The torsion with stick finished. Just take it to the side. For a moment, again, observe how you feel. Maybe no changes, but I believe you do feel it. Okay, uh, I want to continue with shoulders. So uh, I would like you now, I know it was a lot of the sitting cross legs, let's do Virasana. But again, I'm not so keen on you feeling extra in your uh, ankles uh, because it was two weeks, probably of not as much yoga. So use height, yeah, Nick, please. Use more height so you don't feel uh, <clears throat> tension in your ankles. And if, for example, it's still painful, you can even sit on the chair. Mm -hmm. I mean it, yeah? So if the body is not ready, I, as I said, I want more now work on the shoulders. So <clears throat> take your <clears throat> belt close by, sorry guys, again, I keep forgetting things, but. That would be nice to have. Mm -hmm. And then take your arms to the sides. Take your arms to the sides. Keep reaching your fingers away. And release your shoulders down. 
again, see there is this um, move, motion forward. Align your shoulders on top of your pelvis, looping forward. Keep reaching the arms right away from the uh, center to the right, left away to the left. Really try to pull your arms further away. And then the entire arm will turn up, but not only in the wrist, yeah? So actually try to start with your action in the shoulder, in the shoulder. So feel the rotation in the shoulder. So now my palm is pointing up, yeah? Keep looking forward again, head back, seventh vertebra in, and then bring your forearms uh, 90 degrees. And then guys, this will be quite a difficult thing, I believe, for people who have stiffer shoulders. Now try to point your wrist further back, further back. So you kind of want a uh, wrist to go quicker back than your elbow. Elbow is also back. And it gives a good rotation in the shoulder head, uh, heads, yeah? Mm -hmm. Lean elbows higher. Shoulders lower and then wrist further back, guys. It's not like kilometer, yeah, it's a centimeter further back, further back, further back. And then exhale, release the arms and rest. What do you think? Doable? <laughs> Silence. Tanya, don't you do us then next time. <laughs> okay. Would be nice to see what you feel in real, but again, arms out to the sides. One more time, shoulders down, shoulders down. Actually compare your right and left side. I definitely see where my weak point is. One part is burning. Mm -hmm. Again, one more time, the entire shoulder turns up, including the upper arm, forearm and wrist, palm pointing up. Inhale, reach your upper arms up. And again, we try to bring our wrist further back, elbows back, navel in. So low back is not doing bad stuff. And then try to bring your forearms to you in front of the face. And now elbows in, palms to the sides. Elbows together, palms to the sides. Breathe. Garudasana action, widen your back body. Mm -hmm. Elbows more and more closer together, palms away from each other. Breathe. Shoulders down. And exhale, release the arms. Breathe. Shoulders down. And then one more time. Arms to the side. Reach out. Roll your entire arm, shoulder up. Again, maybe you can see how one shoulder is taking more time, doesn't like the action. And again, one more time, forearms up. Wrist quicker than your elbows going back this way, this way. Shoulder heads means to rotate, shoulder blades coming forward, and then elbows closer together. Wrist away from each other. Wrist away. Nick, not like this, away. Yes, well done. It's Garudasana action. Breathe into your back body. Exhale, release. Very good. Uh huh. You're tough. <laughs> yes. Okay, come out and take your one foot back another foot back just in case it's a little bit tired and you know what let's stand up i decided it's enough of this singing otherwise you fall asleep we do this work with the belt standing so check that your belt is in our shoulders and bring the belt on the wrist i will stand with side weight. bring your feet together if you want more space, definitely to do, you can keep the feet apart. And then roll your buttock under. Also remember that we have to bring the thighs more back. Uh, otherwise, the low back will take part. So let's remember that. So look forward at your feet. Bring your thighs more back. 
and keep your thighs back when you lift yourself up and resist give your tailbone forward button forward then start taking the arms in front of you and then inhale raise your arms up Urdhva Hastasana, bring your feet further down and keep pressing the heels strongly into the floor. Actually, try to make your toes maybe even lighter and so you feel more the heels. Reach up with your arms further up. And now your elbows are going more and more back, shoulders more forward. Try to reach yourself higher up and keep breaking the belt keep breaking the belt shoulders rolling forward so your neck remains free and wide eyes quiet reach higher up thighs are still back see the heels that remain heavy exhale release the arms and then we change the position and for this position you have to make your belt a little bit wider just tiny a little bit wider because we bring the hands behind you here on the wrists and again check that you are not banana shape so look down at your feet take your thighs back and when you come up don't push your thighs forward when you come up with your head don't push your thighs forward and again first we keep the hands quite close to the hips we don't push them away. Looking forward, start pressing your wrist into this belt. Keep elongating your arms further down. So you feel how the back body goes down, but the front body lifts up. Don't crush into your lower back. So feel how the back ribs are still lifting. And then start moving your arms further back, away from your button and down as well and still call the armpit and now the seventh vertebra bring in neck long if you feel sharp pain maybe you want to make your belt uh, wider exhale release the belt and release the pose and put it to the side actually i'll take it more away and then we go to the child pose so see on your heels knees to the side we go to our uh, down dog uh, poses around it so again if the ankles are not ready pile up some support have warm uh, have ankles allowing you to do the pose and then walk forward with your fingers try to lengthen your rib cage try to lengthen your spine upper arms rolling to the sides neck is long and then look forward come on your fingers and the knees Tuck your toes under your first down dog today. So feel free <clears throat> to start with bent knees because it's your, also maybe the reason there was this big gap you can uh, practice it. So then take your time. Don't over stretch mm, your hamstrings. And <clears throat> just be careful people with short hamstrings that you don't feel sharp pain in the area close to the buttock where it connects so it should remain wide so that's why bend the knees but take it easy pressing the hands reach up and back keep extending those fingers keep reaching forward with your fingers but away with your arms so the lines the energy of the fingers forward but upper arms uh, four arms going up and away from the line of your fingers. Neck is actually long. Keep reaching with the crown of the head to the line between your palms. So don't squeeze your neck. 
and then walk forward, fingers, uh, sorry, feet to your hands. And then guys, for people who are stiffer, I recommend to bring uh, two bricks or the chair even. If you're all right, uh, you can do like me. Uh, we bring the palms pointing this way. So if it's bricks, it's bricks. Uh, the same idea. Just it will look like that, yeah? So uh, this kind of position, observe, is again helping your upper arm to rotate, but also broadens the back really, really nicely. Yeah, so see, it can be a chair, it can be a bricks, but floor is nicer because you can spread your fingers. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, keep lifting your shoulders, roll them back. Observe your back. Knees and thighs lifting, legs are very tall. Bring your sitting bones away from each other. Lengthen yourself forward. Okay, very good. Turn your hands again forward and step back to one more down dog. And maybe even more forward if you were in the middle of the mat. One more time down dog. Then guys, a little bit of standing poses. It will be Udhita Trikanasana. So take your right leg forward uh, in between your hands. But I will drive you all to use the brick because first we will use the hand like this, but in a moment like this. Yeah, so pointing back. So find uh, the right brick position. In a way, maybe better to use something like this because you see my more part of my palm can be on the block. Then for example, if it's just like this. So play a little bit with it. It will be a bit difficult, more difficult for the shoulder, but this is my idea today. So hand uh, going on the brick, first pointing forward, normal classic chicken asana, arm is going up. Roll the shoulders back, yep. Align your spine, enjoy the extension of your spine. See that your left leg wants to fall forward, you have to lift it up and press more back. And then the right sitting bone has to press more forward and then you have more freedom in the spine. Uh, Nicola, try to bring your top arm on line with the, yes. That's it. Okay, now take your top hand on the hip, look down at your right hand and bring your palms pointing back. Be ready to lift it a little bit higher. Yeah, your bricks. See the elbow is not crushing forward slightly, you know, feel that it's going backward. Yeah, don't like overwork. The shoulder has to rotate, not the elbow. And then take your other arm up again. Mm -hmm. Roll this top shoulder further back. If you feel like a bit like no new kind of pain around your shoulder, this is, um, I forgot the name uh, of the muscle. Mala, Mala did so many years ago. I forgot, sorry. And then exhale, release your hand to the floor and release your hands near your foot, uh, blocked to the side, down dog, down dog. So guys, we will step forward with the left leg and you know, I'm changing my direction so I can see your uh, pictures. Uh, so that's why you don't do what I do. You stay down dog. And then left leg forward. Trick and ass on the left side. So have your blocks ready. Hand on the bricks. Pointing fingers pointing forward. 
Shoulder already here, rolling back. Arm is lifting up. Press your both feet to feel the power of the legs coming up to the pelvis. Back leg, lift up and press more back. Left sitting bone, move forward, trikonasana to the left. Open your arms, move them away from the center. And then we're going to go with this again, position of the fingers back. Just for a moment, hand on the hip, so you don't feel wobbly. And then palm pointing back. Be careful with your elbows if they are in general legs to overextend. This is them slightly back. Extend the fingers. See actually that maybe it's not even possible to extend the fingers. Keep them active. Roll the shoulder back and then again full pose. Arm up. See how here it's challenged to bring the armpit forward but possible. Do it. Broaden the back. Like you already see, saw in Uttanasana. Very good. Release your top arm, release your front arm, breaks away, hands near your foot, step back, down dog. Then take your feet together, kick your right leg up, and just step forward near your outer right hand, like lunge, normal lunge, just a bit of groin stretch. Left heel away, just forward, keep lifting your left leg high up, so see this is not bend this back leg, reach out. Reaching out. Now, take your left knee to the floor. If uh, the knee is sensitive, you can quickly put something soft, come up and you can bring your right leg closer to you. Yep, it was to the side, now a little bit more you to the center. With your fingers, press your buttock, toe buttock more down. Feel how in this pose, very important to feel the lift of your pelvis. So keep lifting. Abdomen is actively working. And then take your arms to the sides. Turn your palms, including the shoulder up. Inhale, reach your arms up. And this is I call baby warrior one. So start looking up, reaching high up with your body. Feel extension along your left quadricep. Tailbone in, tailbone in. Now, if you like this pose a lot, try to point your arms through the back. Dorsal spine for the in. And then looking forward, release your arms and hands uh, to the floor near your foot, down dog. Down dog, arms pressing, forearms lifting, elbows lifting, shoulders rolling down, navel back. My distance too short, observe your distance. And then feet together, left leg kick up to the ceiling, reach your right hip high up when you do this pose. And then take your left leg to the left side of your hand. And stay here, it's called lunge. Reach your chest away, right heel away. Keep lifting your right thigh high up. Chest is forward. Shoulders going back. And then we go to the floor with your right knee, right foot to the floor as well. Maybe you can actually move the foot now to the center, closer to the center, and then hands on the hips come up. Point your elbows back here. So you could kind of stay like this, again, shoulder drops, yeah? 
see that this is action that we did with the stick a lot, yeah? This is going forward, shoulders back. This is not out, in. And then arms to the sides. Press, by the way, your bottom shin, your outer foot to the floor. Roll your entire arm up, shoulders up, and take your arms up. First, just lift yourself vertically up. Press, by the way, your left foot very firmly into the floor, and then look up. Breathe. And then start going further back. If you can. Come back to the middle, release the arms, hands to the floor, step back, down dog. Then walk forward, feet to your hands, holding the elbows, release. Daphne, for you would be good to maybe have the arms like this and legs even wider. <clears throat> so afternoon is softer. Knees and thighs lifting up. See you don't hang in your low back. So and navel gently comes up to the low back, spreading the low back. See you are not hanging on the outer ankles, the feet inner and outer ankle parallel, big toe mount pressing. See these things when you're tired, you start doing what actually brings you to the damage. Hanging on one side. And then take your hands on the hips, look forward, inhale, come up. Guys, I know you don't like it, <laughs> but uh, look, ideally you use the wall. If you don't have wall, I just remember here you have this small window. Maybe you can do this pose like this. Yeah, without the wall, but I recommend the wall. Um, you know what? I will use it here. So the other thing that I would suggest, if you don't like the quadriceps stretch, this is also very difficult part to open. You rather uh, use the chair in front to feel that there is something that will save you, you know, just really for the hands for extra support. So uh, remember, I was asking you often to bring the knee very close to the wall. Today, I'm saying not the same thing. I'm asking you to bring the knee not to the wall completely, just a little bit forward. And then Left leg, of course, here, yeah? So look, for people who easily liking and doing this pose, you don't need really the chair, yeah? But if it's really painful, help yourself. But please promise me you will still eventually go vertically up. You see, this is the idea, not this is the idea. Mm -hmm. So we're ready. Right quadricep is on the wall. Uh -huh. Nick, very well done. Try to take your toes up. I see your foot, Nick. Try to make it flat. Okay. Now, for people who are really okay with this pose, try to see that you really center. Take your hands on the hips. Really observe your right and left hip parallel. And then maybe you can to take your arms to point like this, yeah? Maybe lifting, pubis lifting, breathe, guys. Yes, Nick, take a moment for yourself, yeah. 
Exhale, release the arms and gently release the pose. Yep. So now we will go to the left side. So left knee, not completely to the wall, as I said, today a bit nicer option because it's easier to lift the pelvis then. And then right leg forward. So if you have, uh, if you need a bit of time to do like me, you see, just to help you nicely stretch here, feeling the lift of your chest. Okay, then hands on the hips if you can. Keep levelizing your pelvis, keep moving both outer legs in so it doesn't come to the side, it comes in. You this up and then lift your arms up. Lift your arms up. Try to become more and more vertical as much as you can. Yeah, my wall is not ideal, but. Very good. Exhale, release. And one more time. Those things are always double. Sorry. Okay. You see, I'm moving my chair to the side so I can bring my left leg forward. Right leg down. Guys, do, does anyone like it? Who finds it easy? You? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> if you want, honestly, this can continue like this. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it can be bricks. It's good you have the leather chair kind of thing, yeah? Okay, exhale, breathe. Levelize your pelvis. Yeah, left hip in. Left ankle, left thigh in. Right as well. Tailbone in. Hands on the hips maybe helping you to coil. You know, the pelvis has to come up. Honestly, it's the same feeling in Virabhadrasana. One we have to do, yeah? This has to come up. And then lift your arms up. Breathe, everyone. 15 minutes left. Try not to arch. That's the problem of this pose. Exhale, take your arms down. And change the slide. Или я забыла на тебя посмотреть. Покажи мне. Мне не получилось. Oh, yeah. If this food uh, on the wall doesn't like it, you know, nice maybe some little towel to place. But it tells you that, yeah, the, the ankle has to have more to open. Yeah, it shouldn't be that painful. Okay, right leg. To the wall. Sorry, which one? Left leg, right? <laughs> Left one, sorry. Yeah. Left leg, right leg forward. It feels like this pose is, is horrible. I really, I really believe you 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 struggle like me, but just the more we do it, the more it's goes the right way. So first use the chair if you need to, then hands on the hips, and then lift yourself up. Move your tailbone forward, left side back, right knee to the right hip, so pelvis square, and pull yourself up. Pull yourself up without arching. Exhale, release. Ooh. Remove the leg, remove the chair. And we're going to go to a few back bends from the floor, but it will be soft back bends. So don't worry. I think after you will be okay. Just don't do it long, you know, a bit nicer. And uh, what I would like you to do, I would like you to have um, balls nearby. 
goes to nearby. First, go to down dog. First, go to down dog. <clears throat> Just step back, down dog. You see, yeah. And then we will do upward facing dog with toes as they are now. We are not going flat. Uh, Daphne, honestly, I think it's all right, but if you don't want to do it, uh, you just stay in down dog for now and the rest in child pose. So go forward, pelvis forward. Walk with your feet further so the chest goes through. Roll the shoulders back, lift your spine up. Open the frontal groins more. Exhale, go back. Down dog. Now, second attempt, we're going to go with flat feet. So you are going on this position. Your metatarsal is falling on, on the ground. Exhale again, go forward. Maybe try to coil over your feet. And then press the outer feet to the floor. Outer shin, uh, shins in, outer thighs in, lift the foot. And then exhale. Go to the floor. Raise. Head is on the ground. So ladies who are quite skinny, I have a few of you, you can place a blanket now <coughs> under your pelvic ring. Yeah, so it's a bit maybe too hard for your bones to press into the mat. Uh, then we will do sphinx. You will bring your hands here in front of you, forearms pressing, and you will try to remember this action, this calling of armpits forward. Yeah, we are not extending the arms yet, but if you start feeling your lower back, maybe you can first take your arms a bit forward and also work harder with your legs. Pressing the outer feet, rolling the buttock, pubis, you know what I mean. So first the legs, then everything else. Then it will start taking away the pressure from your lower back. Let me remind you quickly, outer feet pressing, inner knees, inner thighs lifting, tailbone uh, coming down and forward. Press your groins to the floor, buttock is long, navel is lifting up. And then press your forearms, roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back, it's Sphinx pose. You should feel something in your area of the dorsal. Exhale, release. Yeah. If it's not easy, don't worry. If this pose doesn't kind of come through yet, it's maybe the stiffness of the dorsal is not allowing you to feel it fully, but it will be just it's the way yeah okay the second attempt same position but we will start extending the arms going from cobra to uh sorry from sphinx to cobra again girls uh daphne you said yes you want to have a bit easier today so maybe stay in sphinx because indeed cobra is a lot about you know, holding on the arms, core should be super strong. So take it easy, just maybe one short and that's it. Okay, prepare yourself. And guys, really, I hope I can't see you. You know, I can't see the work of your legs, but I hope you really work because I see how people don't like back bends, but it's all is coming this not liking this, not liking it because of weakness in the legs. So press your outer feet, outer shins, outer ankles in, outer hips in, inner groins, inner legs going from the inside to the outside, tailbone in, but don't really squeeze it. It's just moving down, looking up, press the floor, shoulders, shoulders back, Start looking up, but neck is still long. 
and then try to extend your arms, cobra. If you start feeling your lower back, probably you lost your legs. And don't go higher then. Exhale, release. Uh, hands holding your forehead, big toes together, heels away from each other, pubis apart and under. Okay, turn around and go on your back. So, Daphne, your option today would be <clears throat> to go maybe on the brick and you just feel the opening of the shoulders. Yeah, you do chatushpatsagubanda like this. For the rest of the group, we'll do it more actively. Yes? Ready? Uh, be pre please over the middle of your mat because we often uh, play with this. I'm going to see the clock. And um, let's do first the pose like that. Uh, the forearm pointing up to the ceiling. Yeah. Elbows bring closer, Nick. Yeah, not to the sides, but closer to your trunk. Feet are closer to your buttock. Feet are pointing forward, not out. And then press your upper arms, coil your armpits again up. You see, I'm already arching. Yeah, I'm already arching before I came up. So do this action, upper arms pressing, shoulders rolling down, and then we come up. In a way, when I come up in this way, lower back is not taking part. Press the feet further down, butter crawling under. Keep pressing your elbows to the floor. Press the shoulders to the floor and reach your chest high. If you feel your neck, don't work as hard. The neck should remain soft and the chest goes up to the chin, not chin to the chest. Exhale, release the elbows, release the spines. I didn't mention, but uh, from the upper to the lower part, yeah? So this is going, first low back goes down last. Hold the knees, rest. Allow your low back to widen. Very good. And we're gonna go again. We will, for the second time, extend the arms and cross the fingers at the back, yeah, behind the body. Again, check your feet. They should not point out. Even slightly clumsy in would be even better option for beginning. Hold the mat with your fingers. Lift the buttock, adjust the shoulders under. Yeah, different way of coming up. And again, press your upper arms, lift the chest high, cross the fingers at the back. And pump your chest high up. Try to keep your neck happy and soft. Exhale, release your fingers. And as I said, first goes down the shoulder, chest area, bottom, ribs, and then the low back. Release yourself for a moment. Pull the knees to you. Navel to the ground, breathe. And then we will come up one more time. Yeah, one more time. Chatush Padasana. Great way to hit this gray sky and become more uplifted. So, feet pressing, toes be careful pointing forward or even slightly. Hold the mat, press the feet, adjust the shoulders under, come up. And uh, try to enjoy even more. So, you know, the first time we do it's always unaccepting. Yeah? Now try to 
and go further in the box. Cross the fingers differently, by the way. Cross the fingers differently at the back. Pump your shoulders further down, chest higher up. Chin is not pressing, chest is coming up. Exhale, release the fingers. Upper chest, middle chest, bottle chest, low back. Catch the knees. First, play like this. If you, for any reason, is feeling a bit low back, don't worry. We did work on that. But slowly start taking your knees closer to you. So try to feel more spread in the low back. And then if your body doesn't like twist on the floor, yeah, we, I would like you to do reclining twist. Uh, you can quickly again get a bolster uh, on your right side. Take your legs to the right and then open your body to the left. Yeah. So just a quick recovery before we go to Shavasana. See here you want to open this side. So press this left hip away, left arm away. Navel goes again in. And then come back to the center. If you use the support, have it on the other side. So that's me for you as well. Nice options are better now, easier options. Knees try to keep together. Don't allow your top hip to come back. Arms to the side and turn yourself to the right. I really like this version when my, when my top arm holds the top leg so I can kind of have better connection between my limbs. And then I feel extra opening in the hip because I press it further away from this arm and navel goes in the right direction as well. Breathe, guys. Nice. That was uh, the for active part. If still you think your low back is um, hmm, a bit unhappy, try to stay more like this before Shavasana will start for you. And definitely chair for the low legs, you know, more height, even little pillow on the navel. Yeah, so then the low back will have more opportunity to spread. So this is now time for Shavasana. I will help you to relax. I will uh, stay awake. So don't worry. I will wake you up. So find your place. Bring your uh, blankets, chairs if needed. Maybe extra socks. And um, release yourself over the mat. Nick Shavasana, all is correct. You were well, yeah. Your favorite one. Point your palms up, Nick. Point your palms up. Yes, and roll the shoulders down. Yes, see how nice it feels. Daphne, you have slightly different position of your right arm and left arm. Right is further away, like this. Yeah, so see that the distance between the elbow and the trunk is the same. Then it's a sign that one shoulder is softer than the other. And let go. Honestly, let's maybe be a little bit more careful with words today, because the relax is a little bit empty word. What is relaxed? 
You know, when you are stressing out and someone tells you relax, you can uh, like just become even more angry. Doesn't really mean the action. Uh, let's today be heavy. Make your bones heavy, your muscles heavy. Surrender. Like imagine the gravity pulls you down, spreads you more. It's more about your lower legs. Uh, it's more about your pelvis, about your head, arms. In a way, chest, you want to remain open, lifted. Drop your brain on the ground, spread it. Drop your eyes. Then make your tongue soft. Bring your tongue back to its root. Make your bottom jaw quiet, soft, falling down. The skin of the face also heavy, spreading. Just realize that relaxing is uh, not happening by itself. It's a bit of your effort, a bit of your self-control. If you just fall asleep, it's not relaxing. It's just you having some rest. So spread yourself, make yourself heavy, wide. 